Hello, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic. Um, now, as you will know if you saw Simon's crossword video yesterday and listened to the intriguing sound quality of it, um, he's absolutely um, a little hors de combat at the moment. So I'm just going to shout out a few birthdays today just to change things up. Simon will probably round these up when he can. Um, but I did want to mention that it was Benton's birthday um, three days ago, I think, on the 17th. And they don't normally do this, but wrote to us and asked for a shout out. So we're very happy to give it. Um, and also similarly named Brent, who's Denise's husband and was turning 38. And that was yesterday. Happy birthday to you, Brent. Um, I think you both watch the channel and that's absolutely what we love to hear. And then today, there's not only um, Joe Troughton's girlfriend, Amelia, who Joe wanted to give a clue to. Now, he's probably already taken Amelia out to the place that this clue references, and I can't solve it. The clue was, so it's a five-letter answer. The clue is balls, spelt B-A-W-L-S, bounce within British borders. I don't quite know what you're going for in that clue, <laughs> Joe, but I hope Amelia's had a great time anyway. Um, and thank you for writing. Um, there's also Millie's friend Ava in Spain today. And happy birthday to you, Ava. Um, we know that both you and Millie watch the channel, so that's fabulous. Um, and Justin wrote to us to tell us about his daughter, Harper Shea Montgomery, who is five. And that's today brilliant. She's in Kansas City, uh, which I, I have visited. I was quite surprised to discover it wasn't in Kansas. Um, and Harper actually plays chess already and tries to follow along the CTC videos. That's absolutely awesome. We love hearing about that sort of thing. Actually, there's somebody else turning five very soon, and that is Kenneth. We occasionally solve puzzles by Kenneth's dad, and Kenneth is Kenneth's dad's son, would you believe? Yes, you would. Um, and he's turning five in a few days, so happy birthday as well. But where were we? We were on the 20th. Tomorrow, we've got Jordan, Shay's girlfriend, who's going to be turning 28. And you both watch the channel again. Fantastic. Happy birthday, Jordan. Um, and then I'm also going to mention for the 22nd, we've got a couple of shout-outs for... Josh, Jess's partner, out in Australia. Lovely to think that they're watching the channel all the way around the other side of the world. Fantastic and uh, happy birthday. And then finally, I'm going to mention Christian, who's Leslie's son and a great math teacher, apparently, as well as a great son. Well, all math teachers watch this channel, of course, and all sons and all people. So it's a delight. Uh, and part of the reason I'm doing all that is because it's Viking Prime's birthday, too. Viking Prime constructed this puzzle just because it was coming up to his birthday. Um, he then sent it to us saying that it was reported it had a very smooth solve. I can tell you that it has five stars on Logic Masters Germany and Viking Prime had to write back to us and say that he'd misinterpreted some of the uh, comment and it's actually a brain buster. So what am I getting myself into? Now I've done all the birthdays, I feel committed to actually trying to finish this video and solve it. So we will see how it goes. Um, I'm looking forward to giving it a go. And the title is interesting too. It's called Now the People Will Know We Were Here. Um, Viking Prime just brackets a Canadian thing, he said. Um, so I looked it up and this is about Inutsuks, which are stone cairns constructed by the Inuit people. Um, and they populate many of the beaches in Canada um, and other places, I imagine. Um, and a public information film back in the 70s kind of explained why they were putting one up. Um, and they, it was to let the people know we were here. So it's become a catchphrase, I presume, in Canada. And uh, I'm delighted to learn that. The puzzle does look a bit like one of these stone cans because they normally have legs and sort of almost arms. I don't think they're necessarily meant to be people representations, but I don't know that for sure. But this does have the, the feel of it. And um, yeah, delighted to give it a go. Nice construction. I will read the rules 
No, I won't. I will tell you all about uh, Patreon, where today was the closing date for the James Bond themed Dangerous to Know Sudoku Hunt. Well done to those hundreds and hundreds of people who entered correctly. Brilliant effort. Um, also, there's other stuff on Patreon, though, so never despair. There's always going to be more content being posted there. Um, it's great value, as are our apps, which feature line Sudoku and, and uh, domino Sudoku. I was going to call it crop key Sudoku. It's not. It's domino Sudoku, and they are great value, too. There's also, of course, Sven Sudoku pad and our merchandise. All of them great value, too. Um, and the first link under this puzzle is to, under this video is to this puzzle. Now the people will know we were here by Viking Prime. The rules say that normal Sudoku rules apply. We're trying to put one to nine in every row, every column, and every three by three box. Now, the crop key rules here, there's a word that's unusual. White dots separate two cells containing consecutive values. Black dots separate two cells where one value is double the other. Now, note that I used the word values, not digits there. The Renban purple lines, values along a Renban line form a set of consecutive values in any order. And values along a Nabna, the yellow lines, form a set of non-consecutive and non-repeating values in any order and non-consecutive every digit with every other digit on the line is non-consecutive. So if a cell of value 3 appeared somewhere on this line, then values of 2 and 4 cannot appear. Now, the problem with this puzzle is that there are some modifier cells. There are 9 hot cells and 9 cold cells. So the hot cells comprise a set of the digits from 1 to 9, Every row, column, and box in the puzzle contains exactly one hot cell. And then the cold cells have exactly the same rules. There are nine of them valued from, uh, numbered from one to nine, digits from one to nine. Every, um, every row, column, and box in the grid has one cold cell. A cell may only have one of these rows. And now what do these val what happens with a hot and a cold cell? Well, for all of the values needed in this puzzle, for Kropke, Renban, and Nabna lines, the hot cells increase the value of the contained digit by one, and the cold cells reduce the value of the contained digit by one. So if you had a, a hot six here, or let's not put it there, let's put it there. If you had a hot six here, it would have a value of seven. Obviously, these, re these, these hot and cold cells could appear off the lines, in which case their values don't really matter very much in solving the puzzle, just their digits matter in terms of the Sudoku. I mean, it is quite a complicated rule set. Apparently, it's quite a difficult puzzle, but do feel free to give it a try. Um, you can check the video length already to find out how hard I found it, but I don't know yet. I'm going to restart now and say, let's get cracking. So... We've got these boxes, both boxes four and six, are filled with a Renban line and a Nabna line. Okay, now these couldn't work in the normal course of events because if you put a set of repeating digits, sorry, a set of consecutive digits on the Renban, say you put one to six there, you'd be left with seven, eight, and nine, and they would break this. Nabner immediately. Even if you put 2 to 7 here, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, you'd be left with 1, 8, 9, and the presence of 8, 9 here would break this. So something about the hot and cold cells is going to rescue those boxes. Oh, okay, sorry. Let's start with a six cell Nabner line, which is an utter impossibility in normal Sudoku. Because if Actually, how is it not an impossibility anyway? If you have six values, the, the point about the values on a Nabna line is that they have to be two apart from each other. We cannot possibly be dealing with non-integer values in this puzzle because all the digits 
are obviously integers and we're adding one or subtracting one. So don't worry about halves and quarters, they're not involved. I worry about that sort of thing, but you don't have to. Oh, I see, okay. So how can we possibly have a set of digits that are two apart from each other on this six cell line? And I think I've got the answer. So I was first of all thinking that with a five cell line, you kind of assume the values are going to be one, three, five, seven, nine. Because with regular Sudoku values, that's what they have to be. Now that's quite interesting, because I think this line doesn't have any odd values on it at all. Far from having loads of them, I don't think it has any. Because I think the values on this line are going to have to be 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, which is rather wonderful. We're allowed a hot and a cold cell in each box, and they're both going to have to appear here. And the cold cell is going to be a 1 that has a value of 0. The hot cell is going to, be have, going to have to be a 9, which has a value of 10. That is rather wonderful. And those, sorry, I shouldn't put 0, I should put 1 and 9. Those are going to represent 0 and 10. The other digits are the other even digits, 2, 4, 6, 8. And therefore, this set of digits is 3, 5, 7. And they're all genuine values. Let's, okay, I want to color hot digits red, cold digits blue. Now, what I could do is have a color that is not possibly hot. And I could use yellow for that. And I could have a color like orange for not possibly cold. But that gets very complicated. What I'm going to try and get away with is using a color green for neither hot nor cold. Now, we know that this line contains the hot and the cold digit in box two. So these are all genuine digits and genuine values for those digits. And this line... Ah, well, it doesn't use 3 and 7 in these positions because you couldn't get values of 4, 5, and 6 all into two cells. So there's definitely a 5 in use there, and that's not a 5. Ah, and we've got a black dot. We Okay, it could have a genuine value of 3 on, but we have to be very careful here. It would be very easy to eliminate 5 and 7 from this cell and say this is clearly a 3 tied to a 6 by a black dot. But you have to be careful, because what if that was a 5? This could have a value of 10, because one of the cells here does have a value of 10. So I think those are the only two possibilities. We can't put 7 there because we can't get a value of 14 or three and a half here. And these are genuine values, right. So this one is now either six, which rep, well, six represents its own value six in this group, or it's a nine, which represents a value of 10 and would be hot. This hasn't told me quite what these two values are or anything else. Oh, hang on. Right. Oh, gosh, this is hard to... This is a bit hard to grasp. We were, we were told early on in the rules, though, that there is only one set of each... There is, there is only one of each digit in the hot cells. And there's only one of each digit in the cold cells. OK, what that is now telling me is that in this box two, on this six cell Renbat Nabna line, we have used up the only possible cases of hot and cold cells that create digits, create values outside the normal Sudoku values. Because we've used up the hot nine and the cold one, which have values of 10 and zero. We can't do that again because that would be repeating one of those digits in a hot or cold cell. And therefore, every other digit, every other value in the puzzle, apart from the two that are in here somewhere that represent 0 and 10, every other value in the puzzle is between 1, one and 9, which is something we can hang our hat on. Now, it's very interesting for this line, 
because now this line must, we can go back to saying that this line must have the values, values, one, three, five, seven, nine on. I also know that one of these cells is a funky cell, a hot or a cold one, because if you were trying to make one, three, five, seven, nine in all genuine green values, you'd have a, a sextuplet of one, three, five, seven, nine along the top. So, well, that's difficult. So, yeah, these are just values. So we can't use the digits three, five, and seven up here, but we can use the that we must use the value of at least one of them up here by converting an even digit into an effective three, five, or seven by using the hot or cold cell. But that leaves a lot of ways of doing that. Just a quick look at this black dot where the value of this cell is even. It's 0, 2, 4, 6, 8 or 10. Now that means the value of this cell, there's vast possibilities. I suppose it can't be a zero here because that wouldn't make any sense since we can't get another zero in the puzzle. So that's not the digit one which is colding down to zero here. It actually could be the hot nine and the five. But then there's a lot of other combinations. Okay, that's no use. I want to go back to these TV screens here. I don't know if I do. Oh, this line as well is a five cell line. The values on that line are one, three, five, seven, nine again. Okay, let's look at the black dot then. The value on this side is odd. Now, there are only two combinations. Now we can't get another 10 in the puzzle. There are only two combinations which use an odd value on a black dot, and they are 1, 2, and 3, 6. So how are we going to mark values? Maybe, I'm, maybe down here I'm going to use the corner marks. The value of that cell is 1 or 3. It doesn't mean, by the way, that it's a green 1 or 3, because it could be a cold 2 or a cold 4 or a hot two. Anyway, the value of this cell is two or six, and it, but again, doesn't have to be its own digit. Okay, let's look at these TVs. Because I still think that allegation I made early on is, is, has value that with ordinary digits, it would just be a nonsense to have this, this colouring in a box. Now, I don't think these can have the value. Now we know that the values are constrained within one to nine. There are four possible sets of values for this TV. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now, I think we may be able to eliminate the extremes there. And that's very interesting. So, let me just think about that. If this contained values of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now that doesn't mean the values here are 7, 8 and 9. However, neither of the digits 8 and... Well, how would you get the values of one, two, three, four, five, six used here. You can't do it with just all, well, okay, you can. Let's first of all look at the case of using all green genuine digits. Then you have seven, eight, nine left for the box. Now, how could they sit on the Renban only if you could kind of separate away from the 8 by making the 7 lower, 6, which is fine, and making the 9 higher, 10, which we know we're not allowed to do again because we're doing it in box 2. So that isn't, it isn't allowed for these to be made up of genuine digits. 
it won't work in the box. Obviously the same applies over here. I mean, what I'm thinking about at the moment applies to both boxes four and six equally. Now, if you make this up using a funky digit, how will you do that? One way would be by using one digit within one to six increasing and one digit decreasing. And then you're still use so you could have a hot four and a cold five. And you're still using exactly the same set of digits. You have exactly the same problem. So that's no good. So there's not a swap going on. Now the other way of doing it is by using the digits 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7. And 7 is cold and means 6. I think that's the only other way of doing it. Apart from the ways I've discussed which don't work. Now if you did that, these digits are 6, 8 and 9. And now none of them can be cold. Now that's a problem for 8 and 9. Because if you make either of them hot, if you make nine hot, you're breaking the puzzle because we know the hot nine's up here. If you make eight hot, it has a value of nine, and so does nine now. And that's not allowed. You can't have repeated values. As I hope I mentioned at the start that the rules say that you can't have repeating values in a Renban. In a way, it doesn't matter because for them to be consecutive, they can't be repeating, but... It does specify that. Anyway, I don't think this can work. If you put 6, 8, 9 up here, the 8, 9 are a problem. And therefore, I don't think that these can have the values of 1 to 6. And I think I've proved that now. Because there's no, basically, because there's no way of doing it that works. And I'm going to extend that, not just to box 4, where obviously the same deal applies, but also to the high values, 987654 nine, can't sit on here because it works exactly the same with 1, 2, and 3 or 1, 2, and 4 here. 1 can't go lower, so 1 and 2, the digits must always... Ah, oh, no, hang on. Okay, I didn't specifically rule this out before, but it matters, and I'm going to. What happens if 986 has a cold 8, which we certainly haven't ruled out? Then they are 976. But the very fact that we've now got 7 and 6 on the line makes it impossible. So it, it is still ruled out, and the same applies to 123 and 124. You could make 2 hot, but then it crashes into the 3 or 4 value. Yeah, there is no way to do it. So, so these TVs cannot be the values from 1 to 6 or from 4 to 9. Therefore, they are, in one case, I allege, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And I'm going to try and prove that in the other case, they're 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now, if they were... How do you make up the values 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7? Well, again, you can't... Oh, now maybe you can. Ah, oh, this is tricky. Okay, what I was going to say is you can't use just the green ordinary values 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, because then up here you would have 1, 8, 9... But now I'm thinking, why couldn't you have a cold 8, maybe even a hot 1, and then the values here are 9, 7, and either 1 or 2, and that's fine. Oh, that is distressing. No, it's okay, it's not distressing, because we are going to have to do something like this anyway. I mean, we know that these are going to be either 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, or 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I'm not trying to prove that they're not. Okay, that's all right. Okay, what I need to, sorry, what I need to think about instead is what we do get left with in the, in the 
So how do we make this up? What are the op options? Using either hot digit, a hot digit, a cold digit, one of each, or neither. Okay, if we use just one hot digit, that would have to be, to, and we're trying to get the values of two, three, four, five, six, seven. If we use just one hot digit, we would have to be using a one and making that hot into a two. And that's the only way you can't crash values. So then the digits on this purple line would be one, three, four, five, six, seven, the digits, and we've used hot. So now we'd have two, eight, nine here, and we're going to use a cold, and that is going to mean we're gonna have rep values of two, seven, nine. Okay, that works fine, that's possible. Now, if we had one cold digit here only, I think that has to be eight freezing down to seven as a value. So with the digits we're using are two, three, four, five, six, eight. And then the digits you're putting up here are one, seven, and nine. And you're going to be using a hot digit, which is gonna to have to be the one heating up to a two. You can't heat up the nine again, because we've done that. Okay, so that works as well. And the digits up here seem to be either, well, okay, what's interesting is they don't include four, five, and six. They're from one or two, and from seven, eight, and nine. Now, when we look at the other box, and it may be over here, or I may be looking at the wrong boxes, but the other bo by the other box this time, I mean the one which has values of 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 on the TV. Well, either that is made up with 3, 4, 5, 6, well, it could be 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, in which case these are using the digits 1, 2, 9, or... 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, 1, 2, 8 up here, or 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, in which case 1, 3, 9 up here. And maybe I have left out the using both version. So let's just think about that. If we used both, this would be 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9. And these would be 1, 3, 8, but you're still not using 4, 5, or 6. None of the ways of making up these TVs allow 4, 5, or 6 to be placed on either of these lines as digits. And therefore, in this row, the ineluctable conclusion is that 4, 5, and 6 are in these cells, which seems wildly impossible, but it's not. It is possible if the 4 is cold and the 6 is hot, and then the values are 3, 5, 7. And that, again, let's invoke Sherlock Holmes' dictum. Whenever you've eliminated the impossible, whatever remains, however improbable, must be the truth. And I am going to say that this is the truth, that in this group of cells, we have red and blue, in fact, we specifically have a red 6 and a blue 4. And in the rest of the cells in the row and in the box, we just have greens. And that's fine in this box because the remaining green cells, the remaining digits that we have to put in, are 1, 2, 3, and they can go on one of these Ren bands, and 7, 8, 9, and they can go on the other. I was just wondering if Ren ban had a weird plural. I don't think it does. Anyway, the values of these cells are 3, 5, and 7. I'm not even going to think about these yet, although maybe it's time. But anyway, okay, no, hang on. I am going to think about these cells now. The value of these cells are 3, 5, and 7. So these ones are even because they're on white dots from 3, 5, or 7. They're even, and we can't, they're genuine digits the digits which have their own genuine value, and we can't use four or six. So that is a two eight pair. One of these has a value of three and one of them has a value of seven. And therefore this cell has a value of five and is the non hot or cold digit and is a five. 
and we've got a digit in this puzzle after just 21 minutes. And this on the black dot has a value of 10. That is a red 9. And this is now a digit 6. And this is therefore a digit 3. And this is a 7. And this is a 5. And how about that? We're starting at the top of the Inutsuk. 6 is a genuine value. It's only 9 and 1 that aren't. I can take six and nine out of those cells. Wow, this puzzle's bonkers like anything. Right, what about this white dot? We've got values of zero, two, four, or eight available here. And this is either a value of three or seven. We're not using the value of zero there then. So it's a genuine green cell. The value here is three or seven. Those two, I don't know now, I was gonna say they're the same digit. That's not necessarily true. One of these is a cold one, and that can't sit above the cold four, because they'd both be in the same column. Is that interesting? Yes, it is. It is interesting. Okay, one of these two is a cold four, and that can't have the one above it, and it can't have the four above it. So whichever one of these is a four, has a 2-8 pair above it. I think. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Uh, is it any use? Whichever one is a 6 has a 1-2 pair above it. And that can't happen here. Because you'd have a hot 6 next to a 2 on a white dot. So the 6 on 1-2 is over this side. I think that's right. And this is a 4-8 pair, and this is a cold 4. A cold coming we had of it. Um, oh, hang on, this doesn't work now. That's a cold... No, I've got these the wrong way around. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I, the logic was sound, just not the pencil marking. So I said whichever one of these is a 4 doesn't have a 1 and 4 above it. It has a 2 and 8 above it. Oh, well, that... And whichever one is a 6 has a 1 and 4 above it. Okay, I got it the wrong way around. It might still work. If this is a 6, that's a 4. Yeah, this, this, sorry, this makes more sense because whichever one of these is a four is also blue. And therefore, one which is blue and four which is four can't be above it. So there is a one four pair together and they're going over the six rather than the four. And I think that can't happen this side. Is that different from the other? I don't know. I don't think this can be six and that four because this would be a hot six valued at seven. And that would be a regular four, and that doesn't work. So this can't be the six four one side. This is the six four one side. I don't even know if this is what I did a moment ago, but I think it's right. That's the two eight side. This is a cold four. That hot six goes next to an eight. It's a seven. This cold four is a three and goes next to a two, and those two are the same, and that's an eight. And that's green. And one of these two is blue. Wow. I mean, I'm quite pleased to have got this far. Oh, hang on. Seven and nine are genuine values, and they can't go in this nabna, so they're over here. Right, and that's a one, three. So the digits that go on this 
Renban are 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9. Well, to bring the values together, we have to have a hot 2 and a cold 9. So the values will be 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And over here, it's the opposite. We have 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8. We need a hot 1 and a cold 8. Yeah, OK, that's right. And no doubt it is going to take hours to disambiguate where those digits go in those boxes. I can't see how that can be done easily at all. OK, let's do something else because there are other things to do. We've got these Ren bands in the central box. One of them is 1, 2, 3 and one of them is 7, 8, 9. Now, if this is 1, 2, 3, that has to be a 1. If it's 7, 8, 9, it has to be a 7. If this is 1, 2, 3, that one is a 2. If it's 7, 8, 9, that one is an 8. Now, if it's 1, 2, 3, this is 1, 3, and this group of cells is 6, 7, 9. The values here are all odd. 1, 3, 5, I don't know, that's, I don't do that colouring. Let's just try and remember it. The values here are all odd, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. But they don't have to be genuine. Oh, well in this column we've found blue and, well we've found red and we've nearly found blue. So they're green. Down here we've got a cold digit and down here we've got a hot digit somewhere. So if we were using 6, 7 and 9, we can't make 9 hot down here. We could make 7 hot and it could go with 6. Or we could make 6 hot and it could go with 9. That's weird. Or we could use a genuine 6 and 9 or 7 and 9. Okay, that's useless. That's so disappointingly useless. I mean, I'd love to know which of these is which. It would be really helpful to these digits. I don't think there's any way of finding out at this point. I'm meant to either be looking at that thing or this thing. Right, let's look at this thing. The values here are both even. That's facts. And one of them is a value of 4. Oh, hang on. Actually, that too might have an impact here. The value of this cell is 1 or 3. That's what my pencil corner marks meant. So the actual digit in the cell is 1, 3 or 4. It's not 4. We've had a cold 4. So the digit in the cell is 1 or 3 and is therefore genuine. It's an odd digit giving an odd value. So that is a genuine green cell. This has white dot value of 2 or 4. Now, if it's 2, this is a hot 1, in which case that has to be a 3. If it's 4, it's a genuine 4. The, the, the cell in this TV that has a value of 4 is a digit of 4. So this is either a genuine 4 or a hot one. Can it be a three? Could it be a cold three and that be a one? Yes, I think it could. So I don't know why that didn't come across my consciousness. But anyway, if we, whatever creates a four here, ah oh no, we could use a cold five. I was gonna say we're gonna create a one, two, three, four quad. And that's not necessarily true. That's so disappointing. I'm going to have to keep track of the values that I've used in red and blue. Oh yes, I see, because the, the cold cell here is a 1. Well, I mean, I knew that anyway. That, that, that was fundamental to the formation of this Renba, Nabna. 
but I've only just realized that we've used that code for. Now I was able to use that already here. So let's just stick an aid memoir red and blue cell down here. And in red, we've used six and nine. We've got a hot two in there and a hot one in there. So we've basically used one, two, six, and nine. In blue, we've used one and four. We've got a cold nine and a cold eight. So we've used one, four, eight, and nine. Oh, and down here, we can't use three, six, five, or nine. So the blue digit is going to be two or seven. Interesting. Down here, the red digit's going to be three or seven, I reckon. Okay, let's go back to column seven, because <laughs> I didn't get much going there. Okay, in column seven, these have even values. And one of them has a value of four. But we could use a hot three or a cold five in this cell to get there. The other one has a value of six or two. could use a cold three. I don't know. No, okay, we couldn't use a cold three to give two. Because then these would become one and four. And actually, that doesn't even work, I don't think. Oh, that's interesting. Is this... This definitely does have a value of one or three. This is either a hot one. We can't have another hot one. Have we? Oh no, the hot one is in this box, so we certainly can. It's not another one, it would be the one. I don't know, we have to be so careful. And there's this line. The values up here are from 1, 3, 5, 7 and 9. Or just as they are around the whole line. What digits? Ah, oh, we can't use a, cold, a hot six or a cold eight anymore because we've used those. A hot six here and there will be a cold eight here. So we can never get the value of seven onto this line using a funky digit. We're going to have to use a genuine green seven digit. So it's got to be in one of those cells. What about three? Yes, it's the same deal with three. We can't use a hot two or a cold four because we're using a hot two in this box and a cold four there. So the only way to get a value of three onto this line is by using a genuine three, and that's gonna be in one of these cells too. And they're green. So the value of five will appear here, and it's either a hot four or a cold six. The trouble with one and nine is we could use a hot eight or a cold two or a genuine one or nine. Anyway, that three seven pair is looking at that cell. I don't think that informed anything about this column, which is where I'm, I feel I'm missing a deduction in column seven. I think there's something to be learned from it, but I don't know what it is or how to get there. Okay, this has a definite odd value as well. Everything on this line does. So this has an even value, and the two is worth a three, so it's not that. The five and seven represent themselves, the nine will be cold and have a value of an eight, so it is possibly that. So we've reduced that to four, six, or nine. That's, that's not massive, but you know I'll take anything that we can get in this puzzle because it is pretty fiercely complicated. This row, 
they're all odd values. The trouble is, you can have seven odd values in a row, as we did in this row. So having five odd values there doesn't really say anything about the other cells in the row. 7352. So. Oh, I don't know. This is so complicated to me. That, that's, this was a great deduction. I must be able to use this for something else. 3, 7 being there. And these values are 1, 5, and 9. And the 5 is funky, is using a funky cell. A hot 4 or a cold 6. I feel that's like where symmetry sort of breaks, but that's probably going a bit far. Should I think about row 7 instead? Or is it these columns? Is there more to do in those? 7, 1, 4, 6. If that is a 2, 3 pair, these are from 5, 8, 9. Oh, these are all genuine values. Well, that's quite interesting. This would have to be 9 or 5. 8 would be on here, so it would have to be 8, 5, and a 9. Okay, what's the other? If that was a 7, this is 8, 9, and these are 2, 3, 5. Then 2 has to be on here with 5. So 5 is always on this line. Either with 8 or with 2. That's weird. And this is either one value or another. It's either 3 or... Was it 9 if that's 2, 3, 7, 4, 1, 6, 5, 8? Yeah, this is either 3 or 9. What are the values along here? Let's have a just quick think about that in case it helps. The value here, I don't know, because we could have a cold cell. But we've only got 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, so only the evens are interesting. 2 or 6 could give this a value of 1 or 3. Alternatively, if it's a green digit, it's got a value of 1 or 7. So this has a value of 1, 3 or 7. This one can only be hot. And the even digits still to appear on hot cells are 4 and 8. Well, it, oh, it cannot have a 4 or an 8 on it by Sudoku. I don't think this can be read at all. Yeah, we've used red 6, and it sees 2, 4, and 8, and this would have to have an even digit on it if it was red. It's not red, it's green. And therefore, all I know is it's not 5, I think. Now, does that do anything? If this was a 1, 3 pair to go with a 2 there, We'd have 6, 7, 9 down here. We'd have 6 on here. That works. If this was 7, 9, well, these would be 1, 3, 6. We'd have 6 on here again. 6 has to be in this pair for some reason. Five, eight, two, four, six. Hmm. So what about this? Does this have to be green for any reason? It seems very unlikely. Uh, if this digit is a 9, it's representing 8 as its value. Then this would have to be 7 or 9. I suppose it could be a... We can't have a hot 6, actually. We've had a hot 6 there. I don't know. I'm just trying to rule out 9 from this cell, and that may be futile at the moment. 
Oh, but the digit we put in here, okay, it can't be five, nine, or three. The digit is one, two, four, seven, or eight. It can't be one because we've had a cold one and we don't want one here anyway. So it's either a genuine seven or two, four, or eight cold. It can't be four or eight cold. So it's either a genuine seven or a cold two. And the value of this cell is not three. Yeah, that works actually just the same as it did up here. We can't make three because we've already had the hot two and the cold four. So this is two or a seven using giving a value of either one or seven. Well, none of these seem to have a value of five. These are all genuine digits, and that one's not giving a value of five. So this is the cell with the value of five. Now, the annoying thing about that is that it could be a four, a hot four, a regular five, or a cold six. But this cell now can't have a nine in it. It's either a genuine four or a genuine six. This has a value of five. Now, maybe there's more to do with the one, three, seven, nine. If that was a two with a value of one, well, that would be an eight. This would be a seven, nine pair. Yeah, that doesn't work. That doesn't work. That's exciting. Excitement. Right, if this was a 2 with a value of 1, it would make that an 8 by Sudoku. This would become a 7-9 pair. The value of 1 here would make this cell a 3. And this now couldn't be a 1 or a 3. We'd have used the value of 1 on the line and indeed the value of 3. It would have to be 7 or 9 clashing with that. So this is not a 2. This is a genuine 7. And that's not a 7. And that makes this a 1. And that's a 2-3 pair, and that's a 9, and these are a 5-8 pair of genuineness. This is now not 9, that's a 1-3 pair. That, we know, has a value of 5. This is an 8. This is a 7-9 pair. These include 1 or 3 and 6. Hot digit cannot be 1 or 6 because we've used them. So the hot digit is three, and that is a one, and that's a three. Wow. The hot digit here is a one, so I'm gonna change the corner mark. No, hang on, the hot digit is not a one, sorry. I'm losing control. The hot digit can't be six, the hot digit is three. So now we've used three as a hot digit. What have we got here? Two and four, and four has already been used as a cold digit, so two is the cold digit there. And now on this Renba, this Nabna, we've got a four and a six value-wise. So these two are from one and two in one case, and eight and nine in the other. One or two and eight or nine. I'm just putting those Sudoku uh, center marks in. Now, this Nabna has used five and eight, so the value here can't be four, five, six, seven, eight, or nine. The value of this cell is one, two, or three. The digits available then are one, two, three, four. No, it can't be a cold four. We've used that. So the digits available are one, two, three. One of these is a low digit, one or two. That one is definitely a low digit. Oh, we've got the white dot as well. So the value here is one, two, three, or four. And the, the, the digit used to convey that annoyingly could be a cold five. Or a genuine four or all sorts of things with one and two. 
oh, we can't have three in those cells. Now we've got this three on the on the dot on the on both dots. This is either a red one because there is a red one in this box, or it's a green four because there is a green four in this box. This is a value of six. And we can't use 7, so we're going to use 5 or 6. It's either a red 5 or a green 6. And that is either a blue 6, a green 5, or a red 4. This is so weird. And what about up here now? We need a 4, don't we? A value of 4. How could that be here? In fact, this digit by Sudoku is 1, 4, 6, 8, or 9. But the values on this cell are from 2, 4, or 6. So we can rule out 9 and 8. And I think we can rule out 1 because we've had the red 1 somewhere in this box. So that actual digit is 4 or 6. And it has to give an even value. So it's playing itself in this case. Oh, and that's quite interesting because there's a four or six over here playing a five in this role, in this row. <laughs> My film metaphors overdone. Um, so these are from one, two, eight, and nine. What else do we know over this side? We need a value of nine, which could be a red eight. Okay, I'm going to swap over what I've got in these aid memoir cells to what remains. 4, 5, 7, 8 in red, 3, 5, 6, 7 in blue. Those are the ones we still have to find in, I think it's the corner boxes, boxes 1, 3, 7, and 9. Not 100% sure about that, but I think it is. Yeah, it looks it. Okay, so we've got... We, we haven't got a cold 2. The cold 2 has been used there, so the 1 value is going to be provided by an actual 1. Not in that cell. So there's an actual green 1 in one of those. The 9 value, we've had a red 8 somewhere. I can't remember where. Have we really had a red 8? No, we've got... Now I've just changed. We've got a red 8 to go. So the 9 could be supplied by a red 8. And the 5 by either a blue 6 or a red 4. Oh, gosh. This is wearing. Right, this is giving a value of 6, isn't it? Either by being a red 5 or a green six. Let's say that wasn't a red four. Then this is a five, six pair of digits and these ones are two, four and eight. I don't know, it's getting, it feels like it's getting a little bit hard to fit to fit the funky cells in this row. I don't know, maybe not. Okay, let's think about this column again. Yes, and this digit, which I was going to come on to. It's got an even value. Now, if that was a 4, this has a value of 6 or 2. It's obviously a funky digit then. Could be a hot 5 or a cold 3. Or a cold 7, actually. Well, it can't be a cold 3, because we've got a 3 in the column. Am I now saying this can never have a value of 2? It can't be a cold 3. It can't be a regular 2, and we've had a hot 1. So this can never have a value of 2. It has a value of 4 or 6. The values on this Renban are 3, 4, 5, 6. 
This has a value of 4 or 6. It can't be a hot 3. So we're selecting digits from 4, 5 or 7. We can't use 6 because of that. It could be a cold 7, a hot or cold 5, or a regular 4. Now, if it was... Ah... I was just wondering, do we always use a 4 in one of these cells now? I think there's one circumstance in which we don't, in which the 4 is given by a cold 5 here. No, then, then, we, then this becomes a genuine 4. If that is a 6, ah oh no, this is the circumstance. Yes, if the cold 5 here gives a 4, that can be a 6. So this could be a 6-5 pair. We need a 9 in this column, by the way. That's got to be in one of these two cells, and therefore not there. I'm talking about the digit rather than any value it has. I haven't really looked at these little handlebar moustache ren band, uh, nabners. Maybe there's some sort of weird quintuple or sextuple going on here. Maybe there is if I think about these values. The trouble is I don't know where the... I need to know more about where red and blue cells are. I mean, this is going all right. It's very hard. What are we, 53 minutes in? Brain Buster is about spot on. Um, I am going to persevere though. I think we've got work to do, but we're getting closer. Right, this has a value of six. So the other cells on this nab and I can't have values of five, six or seven. I don't know what that means. If I feel like it ought to mean something. Okay, this Nabner has values of four and six. So we can't have a value of seven, but we could have a hot seven. Okay, maybe I need to get rid of these blooming aid memoirs because they're getting in the way a bit. I've just seen something with sevens. We've got a seven there and a seven there and these are pencil marked not to be seven. So seven in this box is in one of those two cells. I, I, the trouble is I'm using these aid memoirs all the time. So I know seven is in one of those two cells and now I know that seven is in one of these three over here. And it's not, oh look, it's not allowed to be on either of these nabners. That has a value of six there, and that definitely has a value of six. Right, a genuine seven is not allowed on either of these nabners. In fact, it has to be a hot seven here. So one of those is a hot seven, and I'm taking seven out of my aid memoir for hot there. Also, one of those is now red, and this therefore isn't red, and is green, and it's therefore the six. So this can be the hot three. Now we've got a six there. That's doing nothing else. How about the three? We've got three in one. Of, no, we can't have a three there because of that three seven pair. That is a genuine, no, it's a three by Sudoku digits. That doesn't mean it has a value of three. On this line, it can't have a value of four and it couldn't have been hot anyway. So it's either itself or a cold three. So this value is two or three. We can't have a five in this cell. Oh no, we could have a five. We could have a cold five in this cell. Okay, what's going on here then? We've got a, we've got a hot seven somewhere over here being an eight. 
therefore, a value of 8. Whichever line that is on, if it's here, this then has a 6 and 8 on, and this is going to have a value of 1, 2, 3, or 4. Okay, if it's here, maybe it's harder. Then we've got, then we've got 4, 6, and 8 on the line, and the other digit has to be low. Okay, I'm going to have to look up column 7 again and just try and find something that I'm missing there. I think. Um, now, we could, yeah, the hot 1 is in this box, so that could be the hot 1 or else it's a genuine 4. What happens if it's a genuine 4? That's a genuine 6. This has to be a cold 5 then. Then you've got 3, 4, 2, 6, 5, and you've used hot. You haven't used hot. You've used cold in the column. 3, 4, 6, 2, 5. Oh, I've only just noticed there's a 1 there. So the hot digit in this box, which is a 1, is in one of those cells. Well, that was worth pointing out. And does that carry on anywhere? The hot digit is here. What's the cold digit? The cold digit is an 8. So that's not in those cells. That's in one of these cells. So the cold digit is up there. So the hot digit over here, which is a 2, is in one of those cells. So there is a 2 in one of those cells, and that must be a 3. There isn't a 2 in one of these cells, but the cold digit, which is a 9, is in one of these two. Well, this has been available for a while, but it's a sort of complication of the rule set that I didn't understand. So, there is a 9 in one of those, so this 7-9 pair is resolved. That's probably... that looks a bit self-contained, unfortunately. Although, what's happened here now? This is 4, 5, 6, or... A cold 8. Right, if that was a cold 5... Okay, okay, let's think about this. If this was a cold 5, that would be a 6. No, how does it happen? How does it happen? If this is a 4... If this is a 4, that's a 6. This is a genuine cell. That's a 6. This has to represent 4 without being a 4, so that becomes a cold 5. And that stops this being 4, 5, 6, or cold, so it can't be the cold 8. So if that's a 4, you've got 6 here, cold 5 there, and this cell is impossible. That's extraordinary. Placing three digits rules out four digits from that because for the cold five rules out both green five and cold eight. That's so weird, but this can't be a four. That is extraordinary. This is a one and it's hot. And those are not hot. And they're not one. And we found the hot one. This is now not a one. This is a high digit. This is a low digit because we can only have, uh, is that right? We can't, yes, we can't have a value of 7 on the line. We've got a value of 8 or 9 and we can't have both. So that is high and that is low. Now, I'm just reminding myself of the logic. Now, why have I got, oh, 7 is in one of those two cells in this box and 9 is in one of those two. That's interesting. Let's just keep going up the column. If I can, I probably can't do anything else now. Two, one, three are gone in the column. And cold is not gone. Oh, that can't be hot anymore. Because that was hot. Could this be cold, though? Have I even considered that? I've just made it green now. 
without considering whether it could be a cold nine. It can't be a cold nine. We've used cold nine and cold eight. Okay, good. This is a genuine digit, therefore it's not a seven because we've had a six on the line. This one can't be a hot one because we've had a hot one now. So, and we've had hot two before, so it can't be hot. It is genuine, but that's exciting. Oh, also this has now become a seven. And I think it's become a hot cell. No, 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 this is a disaster. We've apparently had a hot seven before. Maybe we've only had a hot seven because I knew hot seven was going in one of those cells. That's all right, it's all right, it's all right, don't panic. That is a hot seven. Let's get the pencil marking right. This one is green, one or two. This has now got six in that cell value and eight in that cell. And it's a seven looking at that cell. It's also a hot cell, putting a hot in one of those two. We've got four, five, and eight. Oh, nine can't be there now either. There's a nine in one of those two. There's a nine in one of those two. And there's a hot cell. Yeah. It's just sort of Sudoku, I think, because we know there's a nine in this column in one of those two. There is a nine in one of these two, but we also know there's a hot cell in one of these two. We discovered it at almost the same moment. The hot cell can only be four, five, or eight. So that can't be a two. And this is from four, five, eight, or nine. It can't be an eight. Hot, four or five because they can be hot, and nine because it could be a green nine. Seven, three, five. Now, in this row, we still need a value of one and nine up here. We haven't used hot eight yet. Come on, come on, this is happening now. It's gradually, gradually happening. Seven, six, three, one, two, four, five. Have I revealed anything here? I don't think so. Still, this row is mad. I know that has a value of five, but I don't know how it gets to it. We've still got, okay, we used up hot one. Does that do anything anywhere else that I didn't really notice? We've got a red four, a red five, and a red eight. One of them is there. One of them is somewhere here. Oh, we need a five value here, which is either cold six or hot four. I mean, I've recapitulated that a few times, haven't I? Oh, bother. Okay, so let's go back here then. There must be, those can't be threes. There must be eliminations I haven't done here. Four, five, six, and eight. And one of them is low, is, is cold, and that is five or six. One of these is hot, and that's four or five. This is, one of these is cold. Oh, that's interesting. So this is a pair that is nine. It's a bit like that pair. This is a nine and a cold digit, which is five, six, or seven. So they don't include four. That's not that thrilling. Oh, there's some cell I haven't even looked at that's just going to do the business here, isn't there? Three. We need a red cell in one of those three. This is where this aid memoiring is really not helping anymore. Um, does that mean there can't be a blue cell over this side? I don't think it does. It would be interesting if there had to be a blue cell in one of these. 
it would be very helpful. But I don't think it does mean that. Now, what is going on in this column? The values... The values are... 3, 1, 7, 9, and 5 there, and 6 here. We know all of those. Now, if there was a swap between two digits, hot and cold, then these other ones in the row would be 2, 4, and 8, and that does seem like it works. Oh, seven. Seven is in one of those two cells, the digit seven. That's suddenly very, very obvious. Uh, nine's in one of these, seven's in one of those, two, one, three. Everything else is four, five, six, or eight. Can I do any more on this now? Cold seven would require that to be a four. either got a red 4, 5 or 8 there. We must have a red 4, 5 or 8 here. Okay, let's just be patient. Be, please be patient with me while I struggle through this because it ain't easy. One of those is a 7 and not a red one, obviously. Three, we've got five, eight, no, one, two, four, five, eight, nine. That can't be a one. Now, could that be a one? I think the answer is no. We might be able to place one in this row now. If that was a one, how's it going to join to a three? Oh, the three could be cold. So you'd have one joining to a cold three, that would be a two, that would be a four. Yeah, okay, that does work. Oh, we've got a nine value to place up here. If we used a genuine green nine, that would become eight which would have to be a hot digit, because that would be a green 9. And then that would be 2. So if we used a green 9 over here, we've got a hot 8 and 2 there. And then we've got to use a cold 6 to make the 5 over this side, and that will be a 4. That works all right. What if we use a hot 8 to make the 9 on this side. Then that becomes a green 9. Oh, I see. We're either using an 8 or a 9 over here to give the value of 9, and we're using one here. So this is a 2. It can't be 8 anymore. So we get a 2 in the corner. Now we've got 2 in one of those two cells. Two is green because we've used the red and blue two elsewhere. Okay, where's blue in this row? It could be a six over here. It can't be giving the nine value and it can't be giving the one value. So can this be blue? No, because we've had blue 9 and 8. Right. Blue in this row is in one of these cells, and it's a 6. So the 6 blue is in box 1. And that is a 4. That's just Sudoku now. This cell now gives us value of 6, and it's either hot 5 or cold 7. Well, it can't be hot, because hot's in one of those two cells, so this is cold. Cold 7. 3 and 7 are sorted there. And these are all green, because we know that hot is in one of those two, and cold is there. 
This is not cold. So this is the cold cell in the box, which is a 1. And that is a regular 4. And now this can't be a 4, and that's been obvious since I wrote 4 in there. That doesn't resolve those two yet, does it? Although we need a 9 value up here, but I don't know whether that's done with, an, with a hot 8 or with a regular 9. These are green now in this row. 7, 1, 9, 2, 3. That is 4, 5, or 6. Now that's interesting because there's now a 4, 5, 6 triple of actual digits in the column. That can't be 6, so it's not the low digit anymore. In fact, it's not 7, 3, 5, 4, 2, 8, or 6. So that is 1 or 9. And that 4, 5, 6 triple is interesting. We've got 1, 2, 7, and 9 to place in this column. Okay, come on. There's still progress happening here. 4, 6, 8, 7, 3. That is a 1 or a 5 digit by Sudoku. Seven, one, nine, two. We need a three in this row in one of those cells. That can't be a four. It also can't be blue now. Um, and therefore it's not eight coming down to a seven value. We've got a blue eight in one of those cells. And we've done the blue 7 now. So now we only have a blue 5 and a 3 to find. OK, I'm going to remove these aid memoirs now. Sorry if you're relying on them. And thank goodness you're saying, because they've been confusing me for ages. But in the blue, we've got a 6 up there. 7, 1, 4, 8, 9, 2. Right, blue 3 is not in this box because there's a green 3 in it. So blue 3 is in this box and that's it. Blue 5 is in this box somewhere in one of those cells. No, hang on, we know much more specifically. This can't be blue anymore. It's green, that's blue. Blue 5 is in one of those two cells. And that is not a 5. This is a funky digit and we now know it's not blue, so it's red 4. And that is a 6. That's just Sudoku. And that's a 5 by the same Sudoku magic now. OK, that was good. This has become blue 3, so its actual value is 2. And this is green. These are both green. In fact, there's loads of green to, pen to, to mark in now. There as well. And, e and even here. And this is, a one, this is a 2, since it's green, and it's got to be... No, 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 it's a 1. It's touching a value of 2. So that's a 2 in the row. That's a 4. This is a blue 2. I think we were expecting that. This is 5, 8, or 9. Now, on this NABNA, we've got a value of 6 there and a value of 8 here. By Sudoku, this is 5, 6, or 8. Well, this doesn't make any sense. We've got a value of 6 there and a value of 8 there. Oh, this could be a cold 5, hence a value of 4. That's what it is. Wow. OK, cool. This is a cold 5. That is a genuine 6. And, I mean, look at this ridiculous line here, which is now consisting of 5, 6, 7, but it's still a genuine Nabner because they're worth 4, 6, 8. And these are a 2 and an 8. They're not red. They're green. They're a 2, 8. And this now, this is are all genuine digits. On this nab, now this must be a 5. We're going to get there now. This is unbelievable. Hour and a quarter in. That's an 8. That's just Sudoku. We've got a 1, 4 pair to resolve there. This is 7 or 9. The digits along here are 6, 7 and 9. Come back to you guys in a moment. We've we haven't used the blue nine here. I'm sure I 
but we can get six out of those cells. I bet there's lots more. We can get seven out of that. This is a five nine pair, so that's a two four seven triple. I'm taking four out of those cells and five and six out of these. Three four pair and a five six eight. That one can't be five. This one can't be six. This can't be blue, obviously, because we've got blue in the column now. So that's green and is therefore not the reduced 8. The, the, the cold 8 is here. And that makes this cell a 9, which is not the hot digit. It is the ordinary one. This is the hot digit and is a 5. Now, in the hot cells, we've got 5, 9, 6, 1, 7, 3, 4. We need a 2 there and an 8 somewhere up here in a hot digit, giving a value of 9. OK. In fact, these cells are 8 and 6, hot and cold. That must be green. Nearly finished the colouring. Um, still. <laughs> It's still quite complicated to me. That can't be a five. That's a one. Four down here. Four and three there. We must know that digit is a five. So let's just check this Ren band. Two, three, four, five, six, seven as values. Good. Up here we have three, eight, and six. And we can just write them in correctly there. This is a four. These are two and nine. That must be a 1. Um, this must come apart now, surely by Sudoku. So that can't be a 4. So the 4 in this row is here. That is not the red digit. That is a green one. So that's the red one. That's now not red, but is blue. That's not blue, but is red. This is not blue, but is green, and this is blue, and that's all the colouring done. We needed a cold 9 here. We needed a cold 6 up here. Let's hope this works. We needed a hot 8 and a hot 2. Yes, I think that's right. So hopefully Sudoku makes the whole thing come together now. Well, happy birthday, Viking Prime. I would be grateful if people sending birthday puzzles in the future don't make them quite that hard. Wow. I mean, I dare say there were bits where I could have been smarter or quicker, but anybody solving that is going to tell you it's a very hard puzzle. That's why it's five stars, I guess. Woo! Delighted to get through it. Really entertaining, but an absolute workout. So happy birthday from me. Um, and I hope you have a great one. I hope you enjoyed that at least. That's my present to you, Viking Prime. Um, see you next time on the channel. Thank you for watching and bye for now.